Yo, what's up, YouTube? We're back. I'm here bringing out another NBA 2K19 My League rebuild. And in today's rebuild, we are doing the Joe Kim Noah um, Lakers that was requested. And we did sign Joe Kim Noah. We, get, we are going two seasons with Joe Kim Noah as a starting center. I know DeMarcus Cousins is hurt, and I keep forgetting to... I keep forgetting to put him out for the season before the video starts. So that's my bad. But it's not that hard. So... The video we do need to get um like this is the lineup. I'm gonna leave Rondo I think at point guard. We are gonna start Joe Kim Noah, like I said. I'm gonna for the first season I'm gonna let Rondo play the point because I usually just put LeBron there. But I am gonna let like I said Rondo play it. And we are gonna swap Noah with McGee, but McGee will get minutes off the bench. There's not really much to do in the first season. I'm probably just gonna leave it how it is and sim it. So I mean, I don't really know, man. I uh, I think we can. I know we'll make the playoffs, but I don't know if we can win with Joe Kanoa at center because he's a 73 overall. If he was in his prime, maybe, but him and LeBron always have beef together, so you never know, man. But before I send the season, I just want you to leave a like if you enjoy it, subscribe if you're new, and turn on the notifications for when I post these videos because I will be posting a lot more videos lately school starting and stuff but I'm still gonna be posting so you don't need to worry about that but this is the lineup we have it's not really much of a difference so the first option will be LeBron Anthony Davis and for the sake of the video I'll put Joe Kim Noah as the third option so we are going to send the first season and I'll see y'all at the end of the first season so here at the end of the first season and Giannis is your MVP it's the same as always Ricky the yeah these things are always the same it gets kind of boring but I know it's always um uh, most improved always changes, but it's mostly the same. But here are the stats. Anthony Davis did make all NBA second team. And um, I think LeBron made the first. I wasn't really paying attention. But here are the LeBron and Anthony Davis made all defensive second. So we kind of did pretty bad. We got the eighth seed. Kind of not what I was expecting. But um, let's look at the standings. Um... Yeah, that's kind of bad. Um, but let's look at the stats. I know probably it was LeBron who led us or Anthony Davis. It's obvious. LeBron led us in scoring, almost had a triple double, and then Joe Kim Noah did what six and nine. I mean that's not bad, I guess. But he shot terrible. He shot thirty four percent from the field. That's horrendous, dude. And 37% from the free throw line. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, at least shoot like 45% or something, man. Like, that was pretty bad. <laughs> that was a bad, man. But let's simulate the first round against the Clippers. I won't be surprised if we get eliminated. But we are up 2-1. 3-1. We're about to beat the Clippers, but we couldn't beat the Suns in my other video. I don't get this stuff, man. But we are taking on the Warriors in the closeout game. Joe Kim Noah, what did Joe Kim do? LeBron had 43. And then uh, Joe Kim almost had a triple-double. <laughs> he had 9, 13, and 10. Joe Kim Noah is the GOAT, man. 35 minutes, 9, 13, and 10. What's he averaging for the playoffs? Not really much, but still shooting bad. But Joe Kim almost had a triple-double. So let's, um, we're going to get swept by the Warriors, aren't we? Uh, we took one game, but go figure, man. We lose to the Warriors. So we are going to be simulating to the next season. What did Joe Kim do? Absolutely nothing. 30 minutes, and you can't score one bucket. <laughs> all right, man. Looks like, I don't know. What do y'all think? Y'all think Joe Kim Noah is a better fit than Dwight Howard, or do y'all think Dwight Howard is a better fit? I know they're working out Marcin Gortat too, they said in most baits and I think Bogut. I don't know man, but the Rockets do win the, the do win the finals. So let me know in the comment section what y'all think. Who the Lakers should sign and who would be a better fit and just let me know man. I honestly I personally think it would be I I don't know, like I would personally think it's either Bogut or Dwight. The only reason I say Bogut is because he can defend he's injury prone, yes, but he can defend and block shots and all that and I just like Dwight he has an attitude man both and for his attitude I would say Dwight but who knows I'm looking to see if Joe Kim retired but he didn't 
So, thank God. Uh, I thought he would retire. He's like, what, 36, 37? So, let's go to the NBA draft. And, oh, well, I'll skip it, actually, because I'm not worried about the draft. So, we do pick up Joe Kim Noah's team option. He did go up to a 74. Hopefully, he doesn't go down in the offseason. So, we do got to bring back AD, of course. And, honestly, that's probably all I'm going to bring back is Anthony Davis. The rest is pretty much not important besides AD. So, as we do get AD back, we got to bring Troy Daniels back. Uh, I might go with Brent Forbes. I saw Brent Forbes there. Um... There's not really much shooting guards. Like, Wesley Matthews is cool. I see Marco and... Yeah, there's not really much. Dwayne Bacon's down there. <laughs> Alright, let's just offer Brent Forbes a deal. Along with, um... Resigning AD. So we are going to resign AD and offer him this money. So we are going to give him the max deal. Which... He deserves, man, but... <sighs> I just hate how people request trades so much. It's like, why don't you just stay low to a franchise? Like, I, I don't know, man. That's just me. Like, if I was in the NBA, I'd probably stay low. But saying that, you don't know what the team will do for you. But we do sign Brett Forbes. Let's offer Goran Dragic a deal. Maybe give him, like, the minimum. <laughs> he doesn't want it. But let's head to, um... Let's head to the next season. Um, let's advance to the next season. I'm pretty sure that, um... I'm going to make, like... I'll probably make a trade and then we'll send the season because this is the final season like I said we do need to get um Joe Kim we do need to get Joe Kim Noah a ring man you can't just let it go out without Joe Kim getting a ring so let's head to let's head to the next season and one player I do want to trade I kind of don't really like him but I know some of the Lakers fans might I really dislike KCP a lot. I don't really like Tavis Cowell Pope. So let's move let's switch these positions real quick. LeBron and Kuzma. And Joe Kim is a seventy two. Nice. A seventy two. So now, like I said, I will be trying to trade um Catavius Cowell Pope. But that is what who they want to start to. I'd rather start Danny Green than Catavius Cowell Pope. But um Yeah, I'm probably gonna try to trade Avery Bradley and uh Catavius because we do have too many shooting guards. So let's go see what we can get for them, man. Maybe we can get like uh TJ Warren type player. TJ Warren, Robert Covington, something like that. Uh so let's see what we can get, man. Hopefully we can get something really good. Not like a, I hope they don't offer Daddy Young. They've been offering Daddy Young way too much. Speak of the devil. Daddy Young gets offered way too much. Now, like when he was on the Pacers, they like never offered him. And now that he's on Chicago, he gets offered every time in a trade. But I did see Robert Covington, who I like. There's Michael K. Gilchrist and eh, Harrison Barnes. I think I'm going to go with uh, Robert Covington, good D and three player. And now let's go and, um, I mean, that's pretty much the rotation, man. We're going to start Joe Kim, like I said, and then move McGee up to the top and give him, like, 15 a game. Because that's all he really needs is 15 minutes a game. And Jake Lehman, I mean, I never really, I've heard of him. He plays for the Blazers, I think, and signed with the Timberwolves. But he's not as good as JaVale McGee, pretty much. So... Let's let's head and see what we can do, man. Hopefully, this team can go out and win, man. We gotta we gotta get we gotta get Joe Kim, man. We gotta get him that ring. So we got. Le I'm gonna put AD first this time. It's gonna be Anthony Davis, then LeBron James, and then Joe Kim Noah. And hopefully, he doesn't shoot 34 percent again. <laughs> so we are gonna send the second season. I'll see you at the end of the second season. So we're here, and Zion's your rookie. I mean MVP. I, don't know, I said rookie of the year for Zion. But, yeah, y'all saw. Most improved is Jason Tatum and Kenny Atkinson is your coach of the year. So, John Morant and Zion did make the all-NBA first team, which is pretty surprising. And then you got, I don't know why it always skips to all rookie man. But you got LeBron and AD on all-NBA second, which is very, 
good. And that's about it, man. Anthony Davis and LeBron made all defensive first. But we only got like 48 wins this season, which I I don't know, man. Like, I don't know. I would think we would win like 50, 60 games just because Joe Kim's a center were that bad, I guess. Um. So you do got Joe Kim shooting 34% again, which is something, I guess. 34% is ridiculous. Like, you shouldn't be playing in the NBA if you're shooting 34%. And Robert Covington's not too far behind you. <laughs> That's crazy. So, we did get 48 wins. We are taking on the Grizzlies, who we should get past. And we are up 1-0, 2-0, 2-1, 2-2, come on, 2K. 3-2. We, we better not lose to the Grizzlies. And we lost to the Grizzlies. Are you serious? Joe Kim, bruh. Joe Kim is not the answer, man. One for ten? Yeah. Joe Kim is not your answer, man. No, 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 no. Joe Kim is not the answer for the Lakers, in my opinion. Maybe in y'all's opinion, let me know if y'all think Joe Kim's the answer. Or like I said, who do y'all think is the best fit for the Lakers? But that's going to be the end of the video, guys. Leave a like if you enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new. Turn that notifications on. Comment down to Rebuild Germany to Rebuild Next. And let's just see who wins the finals real quick, man. And it's going to be the Nets. And it's the Nets. So we'll catch y'all next time, man. Peace.